Dinosaur Dictionary and the A to Z of Dinosaurs and Prehistoric Reptiles. What is a dinosaur? For more than 140 million years, dinosaurs were the dominant form of life on Earth, evolving into many shapes and sizes. They died out in a mass extinction some 64 million years ago, along with many other types of animals. Dinosaurs were reptiles which belonged to the diapsid group, meaning they had two openings in the skull bones behind the eye. Modern reptiles were also diapsids, but dinosaurs were different because their legs were held directly under the body, like those of modern mammals. This meant they could move fast, giving them a huge advantage over other animals of the time. Dinosaurs lived in the Mesozoic era, which lasted from 225 to 64 million years ago. The Mesozoic is divided into three periods, the Triassic, the Jurassic and the Cretaceous. Fact there are two major groups of dinosaurs. Saurischian dinosaurs had hips shaped of, like those of modern lizards. Saurischian dinosaurs included all meat eating dinosaurs and sauropods. Ornithischian dinosaurs had hips shaped like those of modern birds. What is not a dinosaur? Dinosaurs were not the only types of animals living in the Mesozoic era. The sky, sea and land were filled with other types of prehistoric reptiles. The skies were ruled by petasaurs, which were closely related to dinosaurs. These creatures had wings made of leathery skin, similar to modern bats. From the mid-Jurassic period onwards, there was also an increasing number of birds. In the sea were plesiosaurs, ichthyosaurus, plesiosaurs and placodons, as well as turtles which have survived to modern times. On the land were the codont and pelicosaur reptiles, as well as lizards and a small number of mammals. Fact, scientists learn about ancient animals from the discovery of fossilised bones and other remains. For a fossil to form after an animal dies, its body must be covered quickly in sand or mud, possibly in a flood. After millions of years, the sand turns to sandstones and the bones slowly dissolve and are replaced by minerals, fossilising them. The minerals can be as hard and heavy as rock. Finally, if the sandstone is worn away, the fossilised bones may be exposed at the Earth's surfaces, allowing scientists the chance to discover them. Scientists carefully dig out the bones and then reassemble them into a complete skeleton. Most animals are not fossilised. Their bodies are usually eaten by other animals or they rot away. Even those which are fossilised may be never found. Some are destroyed by earth movements and other remain buried deep below the surface. The age of the dinosaurs. Earth formed from a mass of gas about 4,600 million years ago and life first appeared on our planet about 600 million years ago. The history of life on Earth has been divided into 12 periods, each lasting several millions of years. The dinosaurs and other prehistoric reptiles in this book lived during four of these periods, as shown below. Three of these periods of Earth, the Triassic, Jurassic and Cretaceous periods, are grouped together in the Mesozoic era, meaning the Middle Life era. This is often called the Age of the Dinosaurs. At the end of the Cretaceous period, all dinosaurs became extinct and their place as the larger land animals were taken by mammals. Evolution Over a very long period of time, one type of animal will change into another. This process is called evolution. The changes may occur for many reasons, but usually they are in response to changes in the environment. 
For example, if dense forests disappear and are replaced by grassy plains, the animals which once ate leaves may evolve into different animals with teeth and stomachs able to cope with eating grass. Some animals may not evolve; instead, they die out because they cannot cope with the changes. Drifting continents. During the age of the dinosaurs, the world looked very different to, to how it looks today. When dinosaurs first evolved, all of the continents of the Earth were joined together in one giant landmass. However, over a period of millions of years, the continents have been slowly drifting apart, causing earthquakes and building mountain ranges when they collide. By the end of the dinosaurs' range, the world looked fairly similar to how it looks today.